What is up, YouTube? Flutter Cheryl C, and I'm back with a Madden 16 Ultimate Team game. Finally back here. I know I haven't been posting um, Ultimate Team game in a little bit, but we're here facing a subscriber, King of Grim. You guys probably know him. Played a few games with him uh, over the last year. So we're facing his team, and we're here in the gorgeous Draft Champion Stadium because you actually can get the stadium in Mutt. In case you guys did not know, it's super cheap. So if you want a cool new stadium, this one is the way to go. Super, super cool, and I absolutely love to use it. So we're rocking the Dolphins jersey jerseys in this one because you know what why not you guys know me I love to change up the jerseys every once in a while look at Jamal Charles picking us up a first down uh, I want to upgrade to the 94 Jamal Charles but again I hate spending my coins that's probably not going to happen so we pick up the first down we're already on his side of the field and I received the ball first in this game which is weird because that hasn't been happening to me it's weird like every time I play a sub subscriber game and look at Jamal Charles look at those blocks look at Demarius Thomas throwing out a perfect block and we're gone for a touchdown a big way a big statement to come out here and start the game off but for whatever reason in subscriber games I always receive the ball you know when I'm facing Dez or a subscriber on the PS4 it's the same thing when I'm you know facing a subscriber here on the Xbox one it's the same thing I always receive the ball first and I do not know why that's just what always happens so it's already third down and five he's now on offense staff are gonna roll out of the pocket he's gonna find Terrell Davis who is just wide open waiting to be thrown to he's gonna pick him up the first down and a lot more get him to about midfield to first down and tang and hand out to Darrell Davis again and look at the blocking that Terrell Davis got on this play we finally bring him down at the 37 yard line we're almost at the end of the first quarter so we're going to the second quarter we bring a little bit of heat and Aaron Donald there knocked the ball out incomplete so first down and or second down and 10 gonna get the first down there on the out route so first down now gonna give the toss to again Terrell Davis I know he's gonna feed Terrell Davis a lot and that I think he has the 94 Terrell Davis if I'm not correct if I'm wrong then be sure to tell me in the comments King but I think he's got the 94 Terrell Davis. That card is still pretty damn good. Third down and three. Going to go with the screen pass to his tight end. Pick him up first down to the nine-yard line. We're going to go to the two-minute warning now. And this is where our defense has got to try to make a stop. We're nowhere near that one. And he gets into there for the touchdown. And so now it's a tie game. We're about to go into half. And he gets ball at half. So we got to put some points right here on the stripe. Going with a little screen pass to Jamal Charles. Hopefully the blocks can hold up a little bit. And they do. And Jamal Charles has got some yards. Going out of bounds at the 37 seven yard line again is trying to move the ball get in the field goal range do whatever we can do going with a little bit of play action throwing it deep and that one was a dangerous pass into double coverage Broyles not able to come down with it so second down and 10 and look at that how he dove like five yards away from me and then causes the uh miss throw by breeze that was actually a pretty smart play i was kind of impressed like i saw, like I saw him do that and i wasn't quite sure what to make of it i kind of panicked i was like whoa 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 whoa, whoa. what kind of trickery is this so first down and 10 again a lot of pressure so i just throw the ball away so we're now second down there's still a lot of time left in the quarter we're gonna go with the screen pass to Demarius Thomas Thomas picks up a first down getting to the four yard line now so again you guys know that our red zone offense isn't very good we got the fade route to Martavius Bryant I bet you guys didn't even know we had him on the team did you did you? But he snuck into the lineup on that play and uh, I've been going to fade routes a lot more in the red zone and how come nobody told me fade routes are so OP? I get them all the time in the end zone. I, you guys really withheld this information from me? Like, I get touchdowns on fades all the time. Like, it's awesome. I love it so much. So, first on 10, going to lob it up and does not get the catch there. So, still 20 seconds before half, and a lot can happen in 20 seconds. <laughs> I know that a few people were giving me shit for saying that uh, in yesterday's video, which I thought was pretty damn funny. Um, you know, so he takes the big set there by J.J. Watt. Still 10 seconds left before half, second down of 20. Throwing it up, and that one is actually going to get caught for a completion to Jimmy Graham, the big six foot seven Jimmy Graham going up and catching that. So that really helps him. He takes the field goal. So he goes into half, only down by four, and he also gets ball. So the defense got to just make another play, got to step up, you know, do what we got to do. And again, I've always kind of prided myself on having a pretty good defense. You know, I don't have a great defense, but I have a pretty good defense. You know, I can get some stops every once in a while. Hopefully, I can get one on this drive. Second down of four. Gonna hand off to Terrell Davis again, but that run's going nowhere. Stuffed in the backfield for a loss. So, third down and five. And look at Aaron Donald coming right up the middle for a sack. And he's gonna be forced to punt the ball now. Fourth down and 15 from the 11. And this was gonna take a bounce. I, you know, it's like, it's one of those things where they try to do like a pooch punt so that way, uh, 
um, you know, uh, there's a chance that it'll bounce off your player, and then they'll be able to recover it. You know, that's honestly a pretty, it's a pretty funny thing, but it sucks when it happens to you. It's funny when you get it, but when it happens to you, that's when it sucks, right? So, second down and ten, we're going to get it to midfield. So now third down and seven. Got to pick up a first down here. I'm going to try to move the ball. Going to uh, put Demarius Thomas in motion, and we're immediately met with a sack by John, or James, I don't even know this dude's name. Abraham's his last name. John Abraham's, I think his name is. He's like a seasoned veteran or something. I don't know. I'm pretty tired. It's like midnight, so yeah. I don't know why I choose to do these comments. Like, I always complain about how tired I am with my commentaries. It's like, so then why don't I just do my commentaries earlier? Like, you know, again, it seems like a simple explanation, like a simple way to fix me being tired and all my commentaries, and I choose not to do them for whatever reason. So we're now we're already into the fourth quarter. Yep, these games go by pretty quick. And he's going to throw it up, but it's going to be incomplete. He was trying to go for it all right there. So second down and 10, he just needs a touchdown to take the lead now. But again, he gets big hit by J.J. Watt. He's constantly under pressure. The pass rush is getting there. And look at this, first down to a Amari Cooper and Cooper's into the end zone for the touchdown and gives him the lead. So now with still three and a half minutes left to go, we're now down by three in the offense who really hasn't been on the field much um, in this half. He's come back out. Jamal Charles, we're going to try to lean on him, picking up first down, bouncing off of tacklers. That's what I kind of love about Jamal, too. Like, he's surprisingly, like, strong, too. As we give the ball to Ryan Shazier. Yep, I subbed in Shazier at fullback. Yep, we throw it up to Demarius Thomas, and Thomas catches it, and he just shrugs off the defender. Demarius Thomas makes a miraculous play, the catch, and then he just threw him right off him. He's like, get off me, man, and scores the touchdown. So two and a half minutes left. We're now up by four once again, and he's got to try to move down the length of the field pretty much. He's got to go 80 yards to score a touchdown in two minutes. So second out of nine, Stafford throws. Stafford fumbles the ball. Watt doesn't pick it up, but Aaron Donald is there, and we get the fumble recovery, and things are not looking good for King of Grim. He gets the big hit there, but does not force a uh, fumble. So second down and 11. Going to try to go to the out route to, um, I believe that's Demarius Thomas. So we're going to go to the fade route, and Demarius Thomas is an absolute beast. This card is insane. Like I had my doubts about him when I first got him, but those doubts quickly went away because this card has been, he's been doing wonders for me. And then DRC gets the pick just to seal the game and close it out. Uh, GG to K King of Grim. Again, just got a little bit unlucky there with that fumble at the end. And then Jamal Charles gets great blocks. We weren't trying to run up the score, but when I have the chance to give Jamal Charles a touchdown and watch him do his, like, pad and, you know, touchdown celebration, I'm going to watch that happen. Okay, so, you know, this is pretty much the end of the game. Again, GG to him played a good game. And I know that he's out for me next time we play. I already know it. I already know that he's out for me. I got a target on my back with my subscribers that play me. I already know I do. But, it's, again, it's always fun playing subscriber games. I say it all the time. I love playing with you guys, and I think it's so much more fun than just playing regular ranked games. Because, you know, the thing with playing subscriber games, it's so unpredictable. Like, anything can happen. But when you're playing most online games, you're playing pretty much the same people that just do the same shit the entire game. So that's what makes these subscriber games even more fun. So I hope you guys did enjoy this Madden 16 Ultimate Team video, and I'll see you guys in the next one on Fluttershot. Peace out. As usual, have a great day, guys.